how do you fix disapproved products on Google Merchant Center? That's what we're going to go over today. Hey guys, it's Dustin with Clicks Geek here. Before we get started, if you can please click the thumbs up below, I would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more great content. Okay, so in our last video, we added the product in for this the Google Merchant Center series. Now, if we go to the overview page here, we'll notice if we hover over this, it has the product showing disapproved, as you can see there. Okay, so I want to diagnose this, and this is just on the free listings, right? We're also going to turn on a few other settings, turn on Google Shopping so that we can use it for shopping ads. So we're going to do a few things here. So but let's diagnose this first. Okay. So as you'll see here, we have a few things. We have pending initial review. So this can take up to seven days on the, the initial review of the product for the free listing. And then we have missing value for shipping weight. So we want to make sure that our shipping weight is included in the listing of the product. And this goes for any feeds or directly entering the product like we did here. Let's go to all products and look at this. Okay. So here's our product. We want to edit this and what we're looking for the shipping weight. We need to add that in. What we need to do down here is turn on the advanced settings and then the shipping weight will pop up here and we'll just put five pounds. Okay. And this would be your actual shipping weight. You always want to include this. I left this out of the entry so that we would have an example to go through on how to fix these. If we have products that are being disapproved like this. So now we have added that in. We we'll want to allow Google to have a few days for them to get this reviewed. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to look at some additional settings for the account that we would like to turn on. So one thing is automatic improvements. I like to turn these on. So we want to allow them to automatically crawl our pages and update the prices. In, this just helps for our product feed to be more relevant at all times. So if we have this as a secondary option, obviously we're going to have a live feed going and we're going to stay on top of our products. So we want to make sure those are turned on. And then another thing we can do is we can actually turn on automatically improve product main image that would just allow Google to make subtle adjustments to the product image to help improve click through rates. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a few other managed programs that Google has from the overview page here. Let's click growth on the left-hand side and then managed programs. And then we're going to click continue because we've already started the, the initial process. And then from here, I can link my Google ads account. Okay. I already have mine on here. I can link, I can choose to link to another Google ads account just by clicking that and then entering an ID here. But for ease, I'm just going to select this and then I'm going to say link and continue. Okay. And then once that's done, click continue campaign has been created. It'll actually ask you to do that. I do not want to have a campaign set up here. I want to do this inside of my Google ads account manually so that I can manage it. And then we'll talk more about that on the next video. So as you can see here, I do need to set up billing in this. So that's why this is popping up and then none of the campaigns are running. So they're just showing this to me so that I can be aware of it, but we have successfully turned this on and we have linked the Google ads account to the Google merchant center. So in the next video, we're going to cover how to manually create a Google ads shopping campaign. So check that out. If you're interested in having our company manage your e-commerce marketing, please reach out to us by using the application link. That's just down in the description below this video. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.